here today to learn about the English ivy. Uh, this is one of many vines that lives here at the park and this is what I call one of our bad guy vines. This is an exotic species that came over from Europe. So we're going to learn a little bit about the identification and we're going to remove it and turn it into some useful laundry detergent today. English ivy is easy to find. It is a common ornamental garden plant. It is an evergreen vine, so its pointed leaves are present all year. Look for one to five lobes per leaf that alternate down the stem, one side, then the other. This species is targeted for removal at our park because it escapes cultivation and damages natural areas, smothering everything in its path. Depending on how big your ivy vines are, there's two main tools that you're gonna use for this. So for smaller uh, vine sections that are maybe um, the size of your finger or thinner. Your standard hand pruners are fine for that. They'll be able to cut right through those vines. But for some of the really mature vines that are um, bigger than your wrist, uh, you're going to want some sort of little folding saw. These are really handy. You can get into tight places with them and not cut into the bark too much. So thin vines, hand pruners, thicker vines, try and have some sort of little folding saw or even a hatchet. Many of our invasive plants were brought here intentionally. This was something that the Patterson did intentionally plant. They wanted an English style garden. And this isn't the only plant with saponins. If you've ever used soap nut, it's the same chemical compound in that plant. While we're working, you'll notice that we wear gloves. The saponins that we're going to be using to make the soap out of this ivy, some people do have an allergic reaction to that. So it's always advisable to wear gloves when you're working with the ivy. Here we are. We've got our victory pile of English ivy vines. For one batch of laundry detergent, we want to harvest 60 of the leaves. So we're going to just pull the leaves off of the vine and collect them in our basket. Now we're ready to take this back to the kitchen and boil it for our soap. So here we are. We've got our basket of leaves and we're back in the kitchen now. So Eva is cleaning off the stems. So as she does that, I'm going to be bundling leaves. We want to increase the surface area on the leaves so that we get more of that saponin out of the leaf. I like to bundle up a number of leaves, take them with the scissors, and just cut them into small strips. So you're just going to repeat that and you're going to fill up your bowl. And again, if you think you might be sensitive to the liquids that are in the leaves, you can wear gloves during this process. Okay, we're going to add some water. You can really smell the saponins now being released since we've chopped up all those leaves. So we're going to turn our burner on and we're going to cover this with a lid and we're going to let that cook for about 15 minutes and then it'll come off the stove. So our ivy has been boiling for 15 minutes now. So I'm going to take the lid off, shut the heat off, and we're just going to give this a nice stir. Take that off the heat and it's just going to sit. I'm going to let that sit for a full 24 hours and then tomorrow uh, we'll come back and we will strain off the liquid, squeeze out the last of the soap from the leaves and then we've got a finished product. It's been 24 hours since we boiled our ivy leaves so we're ready to strain them off for our soap. So we've got several jars here. We're going to make up some jars for our friends that helped with our ivy removal. Oh yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice bubble in there. So you're going to get a really nice soapy product there. So again, you can store this in the refrigerator for up to about three weeks, but you do want to use it up pretty quickly. When you're ready to use your soap, just treat it as it was any regular liquid laundry detergent and add the corresponding amount. Enjoy!